Geology is very much concerned with the history of the Earth. Why does the Earth look today the way it does? And if I take plate tectonics as the example, the current positions of the continents, the current positions of the plates, are a reflection of the motions that have happened on the surface of the Earth over time. But we've learned that that expression on the surface is really just a reflection of much larger processes in the interior of the Earth. Convection is a process that moves heat around. Hot material comes up, cool material goes down, and in the interior of the Earth, convection occurs throughout the Earth's outer core and mantle. The mantle is made out of rocks. Under the very high temperatures and pressures of the interior of the Earth, rocks flow. So when we think about rocks as something that cannot move, on short time scales, that is correct. But on the geological time scales of millions of years, rocks slowly flow. And that is what allows the convection to occur. Yeah, and maybe even a little bit more already rotated. Over the last 20 years, the visualization of computer models representing fundamental principles of physics have allowed us to understand the convection processes inside of the Earth much better than we used to know. And when the colors are yellow, they are hot rocks, they're rising. All these red regions here are rocks that are unusually dense and cool. We have also learned a new way of using the computer model by combining these fundamental principles of physics with observations delivered by geology. What I was finding interesting was this structure here below Africa. Oh, yeah. Africa is known from geological observations of many kinds to be an area that has risen over time. The mechanisms for this rising have always been hotly debated. The ability to connect these observations of Africa as a continent that rises to the convection processes beneath the plate and the rising of a plume inside of the mantle has allowed us to think about the convection process not just as a fundamental process that must occur, but as a process that we can link to specific regions and improve our understanding of the surface of the Earth today.